the day has finally come. I know. It's crazy. Where they're turning on each other. And now Bosch is yeah. going to make an hour video. What do you think his response will be, Jim? His <laughs> one hour, 76 page uh, response. Uh, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you what his response is. His response is going to be something like, um, there's nothing wrong with me walking off to horses. You eat cows so I can animals oh. um and then he'll go on to say uh lolly is subjective they're really goblins with no tits, and they're magical girls that are ten thousand years old Meanwhile, well, well, like i said with the like the coffin thing i mean if that is true they, like, to be honest like the left wing generates a lot of money yeah. like if you're a left wing content creator you're making ridiculous money you look at contrapoints you look at Lindsay ellis you look at uh, h bomber guy yeah. you're talking about patreons that could go up to a hundred thousand or more a month yeah i mean it's a ridiculous amount yeah. of money if you were going to be a, a you know, like a sellout chill and do politics you would want to go with the left would you know but so, they actually yeah. try and say it's the right wing that makes more money not no. not yeah. anywhere I close know. not an asian name is this kirazoa desoa yeah it's like kirazoa desoa hua ninja it's kiru's sister man anything that has to do with anime just makes me seethe well, especially the pedophilia right well exactly speaking of pedophilia bosh um, so Vosh's whole alliance has been destroyed, basically by, by just decimated. Twenty five minutes, for just decimated, yeah. and now it's to the point where his like biggest champion Caffles is being exposed on the grandest stage. Let's go, Phil. So the H three H three Reddit has somehow finally come to the knowledge that Caffles ran the Cat Boy Ranch or uh -huh. the Cat Girl Ranch or whatever the this was mm -hmm. where they were grooming underage minors into being trans is this true oh uh, it's true so okay so 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 how did this happen and why aren't they in jail well you we all know why they're in jail because they have a trans pass whoa you can't criticize trans people for anything they can get it well, they're above the law so you're they're telling the most me, powerful people in society if you're a predator and you want to raise kids all you have to do is cut your dick off well, you don't even have to do that. You Jeez. just have to say that you're a woman. Whoa. You don't even have to go through the full process. Just That's say you're a woman nuts. and then you're just able to open up a Discord where you get like tons of little Wait. kids in there and How many W's you supply can Josh them. Moon get? Well, I honestly, it's been crazy. Josh Moon has been racking up W's lately. Ding, ding, I don't know what to ding, say. Ding, 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 he got his whole legal fund raised like over $130,000, $40,000. I'm not sure what felted it's at now. Rikeda. Felted Rikeda. Now he, he was vindicated on the Brianna Wu and Keffels thing when one of the people they were going against killed themselves. Now the hashtag Kiwi Farms is right is echoing throughout all the land. Yep. H3H3 is bringing up this stuff about the Catboy Ranch. And guess who else is? Mudahar. So the all, brown to guy all from in Canada. Normie Sundry, it's being revealed. The sun is now shining. The light is shining <clears throat> upon the you darkness know, of these groomers. Mason was saying, hey, Kiwi Farmers, like, look, someone was like, hey, Mudahar. We already knew this. Let the guy expose it. Well, we need to just take Let, a W. Take a w. There's like sometimes like uh, people in the community, they don't know how to take a win. Yeah. It's like, well, we can't like ContraPoints is going after Vosh. We can't cheer that on. Yes, we can. can. Just take the yes. W. They're all fighting and snaking it... each other. Hunter Avalone was snaking Vosh. We yes. covered that yesterday. It's so good to see them yes. all suffer and and destroy each other yes. yes praise be it is fuck all of them fuck all of them oh, i'm actually, so glad to see them destroy each let other them burn in hell and you know it, and by the way isn't it funny all this shit it is funny how this shit like existed the horse thing with Vosh. Yeah. The lolly stuff. Well, it was all that. wide out in the open right? and everybody just tolerated swept, it. Everyone swept with the it up the under the rug. It was like Fantasia. Yeah. With all the brooms and the bot buckets. And now it took one thing. One what? To f the f Once he removed the plausible down. deniability, once he was found with the lolly on his hard drive, once he was found with the horse children cartoon children 
on his hard drive. It took- It was over for Vosh. Now he's making a reply video. It's gonna be like- I know! This hour long what reply say? video. What Listen, can you uh, even humming say? Up, humming up, humming well, up. his first defense was even crazier. He was like, oh guys, it was just goblin <laughs> It was a uh, short stack goblin. Short stack goblin. Oh, that makes like it way better. Like all you guys know, it could happen to anybody. <laughs> So, uh, you know, Tipster jumped in on Keffel's side, all this sort of thing. Let's show this Mudahar tweet real yeah. quick, just because this is coming out now about Keffel's. Keffel's is getting felted. Yeah. Uh, he goes, I'm more concerned with the allegations of you scamming the trans community out of $100,000 for a civil case of, uh, against the London police. Now, Keffel's raised this $100,000 to sue the London police. And guess what happened? Uh. In classic Coke ski Coke. fashion, it all went up Keffel's nose. Let's go, felt it, went cetera. right up his nose, snorted it all away, and admitted to that. And then still tries to have credibility to this day. <clears throat> so Mudahar then says, as I research more, I've come across disturbing revelations of her Catboy Ranch. Can't go too much into detail. But it's an insane story and none of it pleasant. Wait, is he going to make a video on it? I think he is. And I Let's think, go! I think H3H3 on the next podcast is going to go into Keffel's Catboy Ranch as Let's well. Let's go, felt it. Content! So it's the a content, content tsunami Whoa! as the leftist civil war continues. Now, Tipster, yeah. who is defending Vosh and the Lollicon right. and all this shit, right? The Lollipop right? Guild, as he The call Lollipop them. Guild, the Lollipop Guild. You know? He finally apologized. Okay, guys, you I... were right. CP is bad. But no, he no, but that me. wasn't even his apology. Oh, no. His was... apology is to Keffels for putting poor, sweet queen Keffels in harm's way. No. Like, he's such a, he's such a gimp. What He's such a gelded, cuckled little bitch in his chastity cage in the corner for his queen, his tranny queen, Keffels. I'm so sorry that anyone harassed you as a result of me coming in to defend Vosh's lolly folder. Just hear him out. This is... The other thing I want to do really quickly uh, before I wrap up this segment is I do want to he apologize to... He is a milk fat some... gimp. Yo, the only thing I really want to do is uh, hopefully scavenge any pieces of my dying career. The ashes, he has the... Well, he's going to burn it. He makes it worse. Oh, yeah. Well, my friends who I care a lot about, uh, one of those friends being Keffels. Uh, Imagine tweeted... believing that Lucas is your friend. Imagine yeah. believing in any yeah. way that any of these people on the internet that you've spoken to a handful of times to like try and get clout and not even clout. It's more so like virtue signal that he's a righteous progressive you know? warrior that you've done this for a bunch of times that you've white knighted for is actually your friend. Yeah. What a loser. Who this knew? is the most performative bullshit ever, by who, the way. Who, who knew the house of cards would fall because <laughs> of CP? Well, I think people have been predicting it. Yeah, I think people have been predicting it for a long time. <laughs> the tweet with my criticism of H3. I did try to tweet it in a way that it so wasn't. Well, everyone. <laughs> what a pathetic aggressive. loser. I was trying to tweet it in a way that wasn't aggressive. Like, why not? Buddy. Why not, bitch? Just keep playing H3. it. It's so sad. I did try to tweet it in a way that it wasn't aggressive uh or i wasn't trying to be like crazy argumentative or whatever i wanted to state my criticism but i didn't want to be a about it okay i tweeted that tweet so i pathetic. went to bed and i woke up <laughs> to utter chaos maybe you should have took a vacation maybe you should have done what <laughs> shoe on head did and took a vacation shoe on heads is by the way response to all this stuff with vosh the horse the lolly yeah. we showed it on the show yesterday oh uh, guys i'm logging off for lent see you next week <laughs> see, you the, ne see you next week and the window outside the is nuclear a nuclear bomb like, that's what's going on in the progressive community right now and the battle lines are being drawn like so far vosh only has on his side tipster keffels i don't think he has anybody else uh no dylan burns but no one knows Dylan. Xander Burns. Hall? Xander Hall's MIA. Yeah, Xander Hall's Xander. missing in action. Xander Hall is refusing he's, he's to sweep under the it floorboards. up. 
Meanwhile, because... H3, H3's against him. Contra Points is against him. <gasps> Sean the Skull is against him. Ooh. Kraut's against him. Bad Empanada's against him. What a f***ing bad... Imagine, you're like, Knights, round up. You well, look somehow everyone across the entire political spectrum has been united in their hatred of Vosh. It's the sword. Like mean? tankies, Nazis, liberals, normie conservatives, libertarians. Jays. Doesn't matter. They all are coming for Vosh's ass. Please. Ethan saw my tweet. Ethan didn't like my tweet. And Ethan responded to my tweet. As a result of that, I was getting a barrage of hate. People Aww. were very mad, Aww. and several of my friends came to my defense as a result of that. One of those people being several. Ca you mean caffles? You mean caffles? One friend. And friend. because of that, they got so much shit. And I just want to take a moment to apologize to my friends for that. <laughs> When I posted that tweet, what a spineless blob! What a worthless little groveling worm, milk-fed gimp, bitch! <laughs> I want to apologize to my friends online for getting them to be hurt. That's the face. Of a it man was their you know. decision to jump in and defend Lollycon, knowing all that that entailed, and, and trying to put up a shield of like trans, trans defense activate. This looks bad on trans people. Is How? there something you'd like to tell the class about <laughs> trans people, maybe, or what? Like, what's wrong with you? I did not mean for that to happen, and I am genuinely sorry. Well, somebody in chat, Coach the Deadpill, you know, you dumb f You didn't even see the sick lolly shit, and you still defended it. He, he didn't see any yeah. of it. He didn't even know what it was. Nobody even described it to him, apparently. He was completely ignorant, and then he defends it as no, being said, no big deal. No, he said it was funny. Yeah, it was just funny. Goes, Look how hilarious this the CP <laughs> like, on this guy's hard drive, along with the dozens of statements child he's made in support of child <laughs> over the years. <laughs> That are now recontextualized to make it look like he was trying to normalize pedophilia. Someone in chat this said he did see it. Yeah, he probably did see it. Well, he's probably got the same shit in his off folder. Vosh probably sent it to him and was like, this is the good shit, pal. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to say there's more chance there is than there isn't. You guys got harassed and attacked because of my actions. I learned from this experience that I need to shut the fuck up and forever log off. log off quit. Unfortunately, he's not going to say those words. We could hope before I do things, I need to yeah, better yeah. reflect on how my actions affect other people around me. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry that happened. None of you guys deserve to be attacked in that way. And uh, why does he just okay. he may as well just Cameras. You know what? But you know what? It's like, I'm sorry that you uh, defended me. It's like, you know what? I'm surprised. Maybe you all deserve to be caught in this because you're all in defending Lolly. Yeah. No, the people have spoken. We do not want Lolly I'm, normalized. I'm honestly shocked. Hipster. I'm honestly shocked he's not just like whipping himself as he does this. You know? Please forgive me. It's those forgive white people me. who like wash the black people's shoes. Yeah. And where I'm sorry, black I'm people. I'm sorry for slavery. Like this is the equivalent of it. It's like the most cocked shit in the world. Like it's nuts. Accountability for that. Forgive me. Forgive me, queen. Um... The other thing is, this whole experience has honestly ruined anime for me in general. So I said, it I can't watch Naruto no more. Really? Before, like hentai was never my thing. Wait, wait so this? I'm pressing X to doubt on, on that statement for him. You're by right. the way, because if you're watching anime that's not hentai, you shouldn't have any problem with it. Yeah. Wait, it's like what you're beating off to regular anime. Well, no, he's saying that he, he's just, it's uh, impossible, apparently. To not for any, off. Yeah, for any normal person to just not off to Lolly. Like, he believes if you watch anime, you're f***ed. You just can't tell what's a Lolly and what's not. You're just apparently completely blind. And it could happen to anybody that they might just stumble upon anime and start f***ing off to little cartoon kid children. That's basically his defense here, which is... <laughs> Unhinged. <laughs> I'll say it. But if you're into hentai, honestly, just stay the f 
away from that shit because holy fuck, like you could look just play it look at something that looks perfectly fine and then later find out it's lolly and then you can no find yourself way! Wait, wait, no! wait, 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 no! what the fuck f this happened to you tipster no, what the f is going on he's like you could just be watching uh anime and off to something that looked totally normal and then find out it was lollycon it was a six-year-old what the f the six-year-old looked like it? they were 21 to me you officer know, like, like yeah shut the f up man listen if by the way you can you, off to a little girl and then the later way. on find out it was cp by the way the the, the dgens who are off to fucking hentai and lolly right do you think they're gonna look at this guy and go, all right, you know what? I quit. He's the voice of reason. Like, you know what? I mean, <laughs> well, they might relate to him in a lot of ways, but. I mean, it might, yeah. A situation like this. So <clears throat> this whole situation has honestly ruined anime for me so f much that I, I never want to watch anime again. I don't want anything to do with anime. Get ready for this. I got my waist <laughs> <spinning. laughs> Throwing out the anime. It's so funny, man. Uh, is, no like, more anime. No more anime because it could happen to anyone that you could end up off to CP. You throw out watching, the anime, you but... You start out with Dragon Ball Z and then you're watching Loli Shota. Yeah. Well, yeah. What about the decade? child here? And I got some of my anime. We got Death Note, one of my... The most <laughs> entry level it's anime the most normal in the world. anime. There's like no hint there's, of any of that no, in there. Like, <laughs> Come on. Death Let me just Note. throw this Death Note is the entry point. It's the gateway drug. It's the gateway drug. To child porn. Into the trash with it. You know, you're watching Light and Al. You're watching all these guys one day and the next day. You're beating off to children. Nah, it's pure theater. This it. is so wild. My favorites. It, throw it in the bin. My we got some totally Dragon Ball Z trash can. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, he's tossing Dragon Ball Z in the bin. What the? F oh, buddy. Those... The original Dragon Ball though is kind of. F I tried to go back to the original Dragon. Oh, yeah, that's like weird. And like shit. Goku's little kid. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the? F man, I was like watching this shit when I was five years old. I'm sure it was. Another great out. anime show. You go to Maybe the crunchy right. roll and it's like, whoa. Maybe he is. Robotech seems pretty harmless. <laughs> Listen, if there's <laughs> CP in Robotech. This is such. All this, animation. You know, these guys burnt. make a big deal about being bad faith or poisoning the well. Isn't this the very yeah. definition of being bad faith? Yeah. Like nobody is saying this. Robotech. Other than me as a joke that you should destroy all your anime because it's a gateway <laughs> drug to lolly or whatever. Robotech. Like, this is He's bullshit. like, look, I was just off to the Gundams. There's some lolly in there, throw it in the bin. Ease, based on one of my favorite RPG franchises, in the bin. Hell, I've got video games you know that are he's anime fishing inspired. All this no, stuff dude, out of there. That's the cleanest bag I've ever that's seen. That's like, like there's nothing in There's like, no, you need to pour like paint on it or something. Those go in the bin too. Uh, Ease, the video game, gone. It's a video game. What I the love fuck he is has going to do on? all of this just because Vosh opened his degenerate kitty porn yeah. and horse cock folder on stream. Listen. So he has to do this whole performative song and dance. Listen, no one just because your he's on your anime. side in politics doesn't mean you have to do this. You know that, right? By the way, like you could just let him go. There's plenty of other degenerate communists to look up to. But no one's like Dragon Ball. Like, no. Tipster, you're missing the point here. The point was the f kids. Yeah, Holy and the shit. horse. Like, what the f The Final Fantasy games? There's probably some lolly. In okay, this is fun. <laughs> There's some no. Okay, this is fun. Like, uh, this, this is so good, though. Because up until this point, I thought to myself, I'm like, how did this guy ever get popular? Because I'm like, this guy fucking sucks. It was Susie I... Lou watching anime on YouTube. Okay. She was watching anime, and he's like, that's copyright infringement. And he reported her to Crunchyroll. But I can kind of see how now, because this is so funny, man. This is the most shit ever. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, Final Fantasy VII Remakes. Gotta go. Listen. Like, this is his life. Darkness, it is. Uh, Catherine, pretty sure there might be something sussy in there. Let's get rid of it.
No. Pretty sure and just there for might good be measure, something saucy in there. Ethan calls people he views as lollicons, he calls them lollipops. Well, to be fair, I mean, lollipop chainsaw, it is a teenage girl and you're looking up the skirt. What the f***? Get rid of lollipop Moral chainsaw. Moral puritanism now! <laughs> so, we must be cleanse the earth of anime and all its works of depravity today. Preacher PPP has something stuck in his She's craw. She's 18 in the game. Is she 18? She's a senior. So okay. He, so you could jail okay. to it. Let's go, Felted, etc. On the fucking safe side. I'm so sick of- They're remaking that game, by the way. Anime at this point. They are, yeah. I want nothing to fucking do with it. No more anime in my house. I'm sorry, babe. I know you're in the other room. I know you still like Pokemon and shit like that. So we have Pokemon to throw it. No more Pokemon because Vosh had a kitty folder. No more Pokemon. This is, this is fucking stupid. He's like trying to be like, they're coming for your anime. If we let them take down Vosh for this kitty shit and horse c then you won't even be able to watch Pokemon. It'll be a dark, sad day out there, we folks. So we need to rally the wagons around his lolly folder. It was just goblin, folks. Give me a break. Yeah. No more. No moss. It's Jover. No more anime in it's this house. It's Jover. Shit. <laughs> so what? we're gonna go into one final clip here <clears throat> about flamenco. Oh, now, fuck me. Tipster All right, I'm says that because Vosh has a lollicon folder, it doesn't mean he's a pedophile. But Flamenco Shoda means that he is a pedophile. Now, he's right about the second part, but it's the hypocrisy of it all. And he says the reason why Flamenco is guilty of being a pedophile and not Vosh is because Flamenco uses Kiwi Farms. And Flamenco is a Nazi. So as long as you have the right politics, according to these people, doesn't matter what's on your hard drive. Doesn't matter what you're off to. It's about being on the right team. So let's quickly pull up this clip and play it for people. By the way, when Flamenco is your guy... I'm just setting up the camera. Somebody donated to Tipster saying, you and Flamenco should go bowling together. Ooh. Tipster said last night on stream... No, flamenco is a pedo. True. Flamenco's a pedo I mean, flamenco probably is a pedo, Ooh. and he's definitely a stalker and a kiwi farmer and a real f weirdo. I don't regret what I said about him. I mean, he's right about, about all of that. Nor do I take it back. But what about Bosch? Exactly. <laughs> so I want these hypocritical scumbags deleted. I want them deleted. I want them deleted. Remember, Mr. Anti Deplatform Keemstar advocating for people being deplatformed over false pedo and lollipop. But you're in favor of deplatforming. Okay, nice. Yeah. You're the Keffels guy. Yeah. Just shut the f up. Just shut the f up. But that's the way they view it. That's the way it is. If you're on their team politically, you're on Blue Tribe. You do no wrong. We cover for all your crimes, Blue Tribe. You on Red Tribe? You on Nazi Tribe? You on Kiwi Farms Tribe? You pedophile. You evil. Even though they've done the exact same thing. It doesn't matter to him. It's all just a partisan political game. And that's why these mother are, well, are well, fucked. well, this is why all right, I got it all set up. All here. right, we got That's everything a, set up. Uh, yeah, so so the thing is, too, is is Vosh, you say a racist joke. You know, he, he referred to us as like a Nazi yeah. show. It's, it's like, they should get banned. They, they should be banned, 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 banned. And then everyone's like, maybe sh like watching CP and advocating for kids being is a bad idea and you should be maybe passionate. also being a zoophile and wanting to suck horse you know is a I mean? bad thing like Absolutely. i don't know maybe these zoophiles that want to f animals shouldn't have a platform how about that uh can you hear me yeah you hear yeah. us yeah oh yeah you're coming in yo what up wow a lot of shit talk this week huh well, wow, buddy. I mean, you had that uh, horrible physical injury right before the match. Wow. I, I, I know. What an easy out. I did fall down the stairs. Dude. Now, was that after PPP pushed your ass because he has a bet going on? Or what happened exactly? Hey, listen, man. Just because I bet everything on Mr. Medicare doesn't mean. You lied to me. 
Well, no. Oh, I'm so sorry there, buddy. Oops, you took oh, a trip no, down the stairs. Oh, no, you took a little tumble. Oh. Well, I didn't salt the stairs today. Salt, salt. I didn't salt the stairs oh, like salt. Oh, Poppy yeah. put the salt in on you, pal. <laughs> and then Andy slipped. He f***ed up his wrist. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I... Well, I, I, watched, uh, I watched the show before jumping in. I saw you were talking about uh, Vouch and uh, Tipster. Yeah. Yes. What's your take on all this, Jim? <laughs> well, I thought that Vouch was, uh, you know, I mean, this guy tried to get a girl to jack a horse off i mean that's been out there for like three years Wait, what well enlighten is this true Wait, he tried... no and no no in the discord messages with Bausch, he's oh. hitting on a, a literal girl and he's trying to get her to jack a horse off part it what the nobody had a problem with that until now holy well, shit. well no because you know something something proletariat something something yeah. working class yeah you're gonna rise up we need to and stop I... the bourgeoisie by off horses. That's cool. I really like. I love the tipster part. Sorry, honey, you can't. You can't enjoy Pokemon because this guy I watch who wants for girls to take horses off. Um, he's into horse semen and CGI lollies. So, no more Pokemon for you, babe. You might turn into a ravenous pedophile. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII remake. All the CP lolly in there. Like, oh, we know. Like... All those video games. Gotta get rid of yeast. Yeah, it's a, a video game. Real hardcore lolly all up in that shit. It's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I don't know what the these people are doing. Vaj is a pervert. Jesus, come on. Why can't yeah. they just let him go? Just let him I don't understand. Go. Isn't there anybody else who can preach their communist gospel to them? Like, isn't there a bunch of these people well, out there? Well, Bosch does host a lot of their... Um, their uh, websites the website and their and merch stores and stuff like that. Did you yesterday. hear this stuff about the white tree or whatever the fuck it's called? White forest? So, so is he like... Is he is he basically like the Nick... The, he's, so white tree is cozy and he's Nick Fuentes. Yes. Basically. Basically, basically yeah. yeah. Like he hosts Shoe on Head's website. That's what... She's gone. She's gone. She logged off for Lent rather than uh, confront what's going on with Vosh. She's just gone for Lent mysteriously. She even put the nuke outside, like, like showing, yeah, I know what's happening, and I'm not around for it. I'm not around for it. But the smartest of... Uh, well, it's the smartest move is just to take a vacation Or is it to time. defend lolly for Vosh. Well, even Hunter Avalon, the guy who like Vosh forgave his sins of being a conservative Nazi, <laughs> he even turned on Vosh this week. Yeah. He was like, no, actually, like, I can't defend this. I'm sorry. Well, um, well to be to be fair, that is because Hunter found out that the uh, guy that showed up with the shotgun was sent by White Run. Oh. It's a message from Bosch about talking, you know, when he shouldn't talk. You know, it's a little hush hush kind of thing. No more. No more talking about girls horses off buddy or uh things are gonna happen <laughs> holy cow but How it's did... it's just crazy like he has like this whole history of like being really creepy with all these women that he was messaging online like the... can, can we talk you know before we even get into that i, I know we've got our fighting game tournament yeah, and yeah. you can you can hold on i'll let you relax your ass muscles before i beat them into the ground but um, I uh, yeah, uh, go ahead. <laughs> the thing with with Vosh is, can we talk about his ear can i get yeah, a definitive yeah. answer as to what the going on with this guy's ear what i think happened was he got a um like a, a spacer a, a spacer in? gauge whatever and it infected his ear and it filled with like pus like he just like became this giant like he's the size of a golf ball if he popped that thing it would paint a wall oh, it's, nasty. it's nasty it's like a permanent deformity now to his ear like i don't get an operation like, on it he had, he had an, an operation, operation on it to but fix it's still it. all demented looking yeah i have no idea what the hell that was and no well, one brought like, it up <laughs> yeah yeah for years for years it would like grow and shrink and grow and shrink and nobody everybody's like the thing you could not look at it but everybody tried to play like it was in you know you know this giant parasite on the side of his head how how did he get away with it for so long? It's not, so now Mudahar is going after him and Keffels too, right? All these normies. Keffels. It all all thanks to the fucking for Tipster and Keffels opening their goddamn mouth. Thank God. It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Well, all the Catboy Ranch stuff is now coming out, Jim. And you were talking about that back when people were first discovering about it and it was swept under the rug by all the normies, everybody on the left, because they had to be a good ally. But now suddenly the moment has come where they're just like, no, we're not going to deal with Keffels anymore. We're Thank not going to... Su I'm surprised. Like, I can't believe that 
the day has finally come. I know. It's crazy. Where they're turning on each other. And now Bosch is going to make an hour video. What do you think his response will be, Jim? His <laughs> one hour, 76 page uh, response. Uh, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you what his response is. His response is going to be something like, um, there's nothing wrong with me walking off to horses. You eat cows so I can f animals oh. um and then he'll go on to say uh lolly is subjective they're really goblins with no tits, and they're magical girls that are ten thousand years old uh, yeah. That, yeah that's probably it the standard playbook then yeah and but then he'll take the destiny tweet where destiny's calling him a, a pervert and he'll play all the things where destiny would argue about um well what's the matter with uh, my sister and her brother each other or you know uh, ethical uh, ethical child banging because you know destiny had those hot takes for a while when he was doing those arguments why well, have these hot takes? <laughs> I love how they're all gonna tear each other down. Cause you have you have you heard Contra Points is apparently gonna do a whole like hour long video on Vosh. I thought they were dead. Didn't I they, know. Didn't they well, they no. some uh, they're they've been scamming the Patreon there. Like I think they make like over a hundred grand a month and make one to do video nothing. A year. One video a year. But, but, but the production budget on this like anti Vosh video is gonna be quite something. Well, well, the thing is, is so, uh, Caffles had the big brained idea to make it all about trans people and go, first you go after Bosch's CP, now it's about trans. And then Contra was like, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But, um, like, Vosh is somehow, I don't know if he realizes this or not, he's like a white man. You know, like, I don't. I don't know. I, th I think it's flipped his mind. You know, yeah. I, I don't know yeah. what I don't know what he's thinking. <laughs> I don't know what that crew is thinking. Now, I've said that Vosh's solution to get out of this is that he should become trans. Yeah. That he should get on the hormones and get the surgery going. Full is that his way out of this, or? No, I don't think. I, I, I think he's going to go with the uh, oh, what an intellectual. Uh, person I am, and oh yeah. look at how big brained I am, and you guys are just too uh, too hillbilly. Uh, right-wingers yes. to understand the, the beauty of the ethical mm. child horse argument that I'm making it's over so here. I, I don't think it's going to go well. I don't think he should make this response video. I like, do. No, yeah, Vosh, yeah, yeah. do it. Please, yeah, do it. Please. Make the video. Show, yeah. us, show us your truth, we King. The please, goal, the please goal enlighten us. It'll make be it real two good. hours long. Yeah, yeah two hours yeah. long, Vosh. Three. Go for three. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but uh, I, I don't understand what Tipster's doing. Um, oh, well, I, I don't, don't let me be, I, I don't know who the f Tipster really is I other than the either. commentary guy, Here. right? That's yeah. about what I know about him. Basically, he worked with like Augie and those guys in commentary. And Wasn't he the, he was the thirsty one, right? That tried to f 100,000 women or something? Yes, yes, yes. Right. And then basically what happened was uh, he blew up through Susie Lou, this girl who used to watch anime on YouTube. And he went after her for copyright infringement, and he blew up basically and scared her off of YouTube and all this shit. Then suddenly he started like, Wait, so he went after. There's only one pedophile allowed on YouTube. Get this anime bitch out of here. It's Tipster and Tipster only. No, f me. Yeah. <laughs> and then okay. he decided to just join the brigade like he like started to uh, drink a bud light on stream every day and go here conservatives i'm having are you bud light. triggered that i'm drinking this shitty beer right? and i was even i tweeted him and i'm like all right but we got the point on one of his tweets about bud light and he blocked me and then so he went deeper he, yeah. didn't didn't okay did Andy, didn't he argue like um you don't understand the context of what Bausch is saying like what context do i need for an well, anime right? girl that's six years old drinking horse semen yeah exactly the context and he said it's bad faith it's bad faith we're all like what's with the lolly butt well their whole their whole thing is to deflect onto these statements that Vouch made where it's like Oh, well, that's actually out of context, even though it is in its context. And there really is no context that could justify his galaxy brain take that there are positive outcomes for children getting molested. Yeah. Um, but okay, they want to deflect from that when the real elephant in the room is the lollycon on his hard drive. And oh, the see, pictures I thought you were going to say little... the, the real elephant in the room was his wife. <laughs> is that his wife? Does anybody find no. What was that creature that stumbled onto his stream the one time? I've never seen anything quite like it. So, so basically, Tipster's like whole thing was 
defend, defend, defend all these people, attack conservatives, and also well, you, ban people with right wing ideology. Have you heard the Brianna Wu defense, a name from so long ago? Is Bri she defending Vouch yes. too? No way. Brianna Wu has said it's an election year, so we need to <laughs> we need to think about the consequences of canceling Vosh during an election year. Oh my god! The I, I don't understand. Context. I don't understand what this, you know, full throttle defense is like. It doesn't hurt any of these other people to let him get, you know, kneecapped by his own stupidity. It's not going to affect Wu or uh, Tipster or any of them. Like they've got their own shit they're doing. Yeah. And maybe he really is that deeply ingrained. I don't know how big of a company he runs that he would have this much influence. Well, I don't. I just can it really be that or like has, I, has that even been confirmed? Like who who found that? Is Peter Coffin? It was Peter Coffin, which again, it's like <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I know. It's like what the f timeline are we in he where like Peter whole... Coffin's going after him? Like, like he was no. on the SJW side and gamer. Yeah. Game. Are you sure it was? Are, are you sure it was Peter Coffin uh, and yes. not his inflatable doll wife? The yeah. founder? <laughs> no, it was. I was. I was. I like Peter Coffin. Like he's been hiding as Falcon on game ranks for the last like seven years after the whole fuck, and he's the one who's like. Only people defending Vosh are the ones part of his company. Shocking. I'm like, what the f is going on? I mean, if that, that if that's true, that's that's pretty f amazing that he dug that up. Yeah. In fact, someone was like, finally doing real journalism, Peter. <laughs> I don't it's know. Actually it, it, it just seems to me like you know why why jump in to defend him because if he fails and his audience yeah. like goes away or. It just seems like it's more opportunity for people on the left to take his audience and like there's a financial incentive for them to let him fail. Yeah. yeah. So it's very weird that they jump in to defend him unless like they're really invested in like the normalizing of like child stuff. Like, is that what it's about? Or, or is it about like that they just be. can't let a leftist ever be seen to be like, like this? That, or? Like I think it's in a way where Vosh has been such a figurehead for so long that it's almost like this can't be. The right wing can't win like this. Like it's almost like you've invested so much time in this guy that like but it's just like him, a team sport. Like it's not like there's any sort of real principles at play here or anything like that. It's just like my team good cuz blue. Yeah. And there's no problem with anybody on my team. Meanwhile, well, well, like I said, with the like the coffin thing. I mean, if that is true, they, like, to be honest, like the left wing generates a lot of money. Yeah. Like if you're a left wing content creator, you're making ridiculous money. You look at ContraPoints, you look at Lindsay Ellis, you look at uh, H Bomber guy. Yeah. You're talking about Patreons that could go up to a hundred thousand or more a month. Yeah. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount yeah. of money if you were going to be a, a you know, like a sellout chill and do politics you would want to go with the left would you know but so, they actually yeah. try and say it's the right wing that makes more money not no. not yeah. anywhere close not anywhere it's close. been a tough go for us guys. <laughs> it's <laughs> been a tough go on the right wing a lot of people losing payment processors sponsorships getting well, canceled I mean, even, getting even, platformed even outside of that, even outside of that kind of shit. I mean, just basic cash in hand sort of thing. Mm. So if Vosh has some kind of like control of the purse strings and he's somehow running shit like that, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of fucking money. Like it's a ridiculous amount of money that he would, you know, be seeing where it's coming and going, who's getting what, how much he could get. I, I have no idea, but like that, it still blows my mind if Coffin actually found that. I don't, unless this is like some deep revenge for making fun of his inflatable woman yeah. and he's just with people i don't know well, but uh or or it's um him hitching his wagon with contra because contra points has a huge following and i think that video is going to do a lot of damage to bosh yeah. i think that would be the, the biggest bomb because like contra should be the one theoretically defending bosh so i think peter saw this and went Oh shit! I'm I'm well, hitching my wagon Well, after right that, now. H bomber guy unfollowed Vosh yeah. on Twitter once Contra signaled that they were going after him. Yeah. Um. He, you know, and then Sean the Skull, that guy. I don't know if you know that guy. From He's come in after Vosh as well. So there's a lot of people on the left who are not but, happy. But with are they? Vosh. I mean, are are they following Contra points? Are they following uh, what is it? Ethan Klein H three H three because he seems be to be the one that. Yeah. He's really leading the charge on that, yeah. right? Like, he's, he's done, done like, three, three podcasts on it now, 
which was is like thirty to fifty thousand live viewers. Fifty five k was like one of them. Right. I saw. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So I I think it's yeah. Sure, the left makes a lot of money, but Vosh is now like the bottom of the totem pole. Like you only have Caffles and well, and he's Tips he's like radioactive, isn't yeah. he now? Like, and a lot of people like there was what's his name, Mister Sunday, who is one of these big Vosh guys. He said, like, Vosh is being really selfish by not just leaving completely. And, and like, he was, like, the biggest sucker of Vosh. Of, of Vosh, because yeah. he's, like, now all of the people who defend him are going to be tarred and feathered as being, like, pedophile defenders or closet well, I mean, pedophiles Vosh, themselves. Yeah. The Vosh isn't going to walk away, though. I mean, I don't know what is uh, – again, well, I mean, I already laid out what I think he's going to rationalize it as. But it's too much money to walk away from. He's not going to walk away. What is he going to do? Go work a normal job? that exactly he's making yeah. tens of thousands of dollars a month he's gonna try to find some way to make horses sound normal yeah. yeah i mean at the end of the day he's gonna probably get away with this he'll have a somewhat diminished audience i don't think he'll ever be taken seriously as this grand political mastermind again That's i think over. like i don't think he'll get any more invites to the white house for instance i think that there'll be a ceiling on him for how high he can go from this point forward, but he's still gonna have a fan base that gives him a lucrative amount of money. He'll make more money and... than average people for sure. Oh, yeah. holy shit! I, I've got it. I've got a pitch for Vosh. Mm. Um, when everything's falling apart, you need to get a hold of Ali Ak or uh, Ali Ali Akbar <laughs> Alexander, <laughs> and you need to come out with a uh, political consultancy agency. He's the right wing. You're the left wing. You're both <laughs> ravenous pedophiles, allegedly. Allegedly. And allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. And you guys can you can you can be like the powerhouse of uh, online entertainment in Washington DC. <laughs> How to get away with your pedophile scandal. Brought Are to you, you by pedophile? Ollie and Vosh. And that's right. Every time every time a politician comes into the office, you say, Is it do you have a little boy or a little girl? And if it's a boy, it goes with Ollie. If it's a girl, it goes with Vosh. <laughs> And that's how these deals are made, right? And I mean, you'll make uh, bajillions of dollars. Look at Nick. 